I think we've got our rewards for you know the last few games because uh, we haven't deserved to be on this run uh, of eight without a win. After the sacking of Nigel Clark, Derby County wanted immediate impact. A manager who would take Derby by storm into the Premier League. A lot of speculation arose. Who would be the next Derby manager? After weeks of searching, it was clear. Former Manchester City veteran manager Midget would be the one who guides Derby into the Premier League. Will he fail? Will he succeed? Everything is possible. We shall see on the opening day of the FL Championship. Welcome to the opening day of the Championship season. Today Barnsley are hosting Derby. They must think Derby are beatable. You know why? Because they beat Derby 3-2 in the Capital One Cup. There must be some hope. As much as Derby are better than them in the league for the past few seasons, Barnsley must know this is a winnable fixture. Derby obviously having a new manager, Midget. Um, the, the loss to Barnsley, um, the 3-2 loss to Barnsley in the Capital One Cup, was still with the caretaker manager, as so was the whole pre-season, which they won 2-1 to River Plate at home, drew 1-1 to Borussia Mönchengladbach away, and lost 2-0 to Braga at home. So that was all the caretakers. Now this is the actual real deal. This is where the manager has to show what he is capable of. The former Manchester City veteran will hope for a win here, nothing less. Just as a quick fact for you, it was reported that Real Madrid offered 2.1 million for the 18-year-old swagmeister William Hughes, declined obviously by Derby County being one of their best players and upcoming star of the season. Martin, lays it off to Hughes, Hughes to Russell, Russell what can he do, oh Martin, missed, unlucky for him the Englishman, the ball's gone out, Tudgay, loses out to Barker the captain, bars to get through, now it's Fox, 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 Andrew Wisdom the man on loan from Liverpool, helps Derby, now Russell, can this be a quick counter-attack? Martin. Ramage. And Voto. And Voto. Passes back to the Man of Steel. Oh, can Martin do something? Ooh. For a second, we all thought Martin could get the better of the keeper. Hughes. Terrible layoff. But Bryson gets there. Bryson. Cross. Martin. Mucked it up. Oh, here's a chance. William Hughes. William Hughes looking for a pass, does a little nice fake shot. Oh, Martin! It's offside. It wouldn't go in either way. Here's Ramage. Ramage. Oh, Ramage. The pressure from Derby is unbelievable. Here's Eustace. Eustace cross. Martin goal. Simple as that. Martin with the incredible header. The debutant must be proud of that. And the 33-year-old who said he might retire at the end of the season, put in an absolute peach of a cross. Tudgay. Now Fox. Fox with a great over the top. Oh, Lee Grant. Great play from Lee Grant. Bryson. Eustace. Feeds it to Martin. Now Bryson. Great dribbling from Mar. Oh. And Voto. Oh, he loses out to Russell. Oh, Russell. What an amazing goal from Russell. Just catches Mvoto out from his pace. You know, he sneaks up behind Mvoto, gets the ball, and slots it perfectly past the keeper. Now Wood. Barnes the restart, hoping for better. Martin. Russell. Russell. Can he run onto that? Russell. Yes, he can. Russell. Chips it. Crossbar. Oh, Martin rebound. No. Man of Steel's there. Derby, need some luck. Here's Martin. Oh, Russell, he caught out the defender there. And Voto, he doesn't go anywhere. But Man of Steel saves it perfectly. No trouble there. Here's Ward. Great crossing. Oh, didn't, wasn't the best one there. There's Connor Salmon. Connor Salmon, what can he do? Fake shot, will he cross or will he shoot? He crosses. What a volley. What a goal from Russell Martin. Not Russell Martin, excuse my language, Johnny Russell. What a player this guy has been for the past game. 
he is a debutant in the Derby lineup, but he's already scored his first two goals as Derby striker. Barnsley, this is looking absolutely horrendous for Barnsley. It does not look great. Now Russell, can he get his hat trick? Russell, saved by Steele, Hassel clears. It's gone as far as Hughes, but he gives it away cheaply to Dawson. Can this be a counter for Barnsley? Barnsley looking sloppy all game. And the match ends. 3-0 to Derby. That's been one of the greatest ever comebacks in terms of Capital One Cup to Championship. Hopefully you enjoyed. Great game for Derby. I'd just like to congratulate you on your first game as Derby County Manager. Um, was it important from the Capital One Cup loss from the other week? Uh, yes, I think it's very important that we bounce back um, here from the Capital One Cup defeat because um, since we are out of the one Capital One Cup now, um, we need to concentrate on the league and I think beating the people that beat us um, in the Capital One Cup show that we can really bounce back from uh, the, the disappointment of not going further into the Capital One Cup. But I actually really think that we can um, do great in the league and uh, I think the lads showed it today. Okay, uh, are there any new signings Derby County fans should expect? Because obviously you still not made one yet. I th yeah, I got I got five, six, maybe seven um, targets. You know, I, I I can't really say it right now, but I've got some people on my radar. Yes. How did you get Barnsley not to get any shots off at home since you lost to them 3-2 the other week? What has changed since you took charge? I think it's because um, of our high, uh, high defensive and attacking pressure. You know, whenever Dar Barnsley got the ball, uh, we rushed towards them, you know, locked every single position where they can down. And I think that's how we got most of our goals. You know, two or three came because of Barnsley errors where we where we exactly you know got the ball um from like high pressure and we scored so um i think that's the most important thing you need to do in football you know get get people on the ball and or you know locking down the ball so um the paths of other people go away so you you can get the ball easy and then attack and score like we did today um good luck as derby manager what place are you hoping to finish by the end of the season uh finishing uh finishing wise um, I am very strict and I want to finish in the top six at least, you know, maybe that is big ask for um, for us, like lot, lot, a lot of people will say that is a very big ask, but I think we are capable of reaching top six, top five, definitely, and yes, so thank you again for your message, and yes, so see you later. Midget, thanks again for your time and goodbye. Now let's look at the table. In first place, we have Derby County in it with an emphatic 3-0 victory over Barnsley. In second place, we have Nottingham Forest, separating nothing between the two orange rival sides. In third, Blackpool, fourth, Doncaster, fifth, QPR, and sixth, closing off the playoff spot, Burnmouth. Seventh, Celeste City, very surprisingly, and the first half of the table is closed off by Millwall. Now let's look at the second half of the table. It opens up with Blackburn Rovers on just one point. And the only team to get a 1 point plus 13th place is Brighton in 14th place. Everybody past 14th place has lost their game. Which means the table is closed off by Charlton Athletic with the minus 3 goal difference. So is Barnsley on a minus 3 goal difference. And in 22nd place, surprisingly, Reading, who have just almost came out of the Premier League. So this is going to be a howler of a season for them if they get relegated. Thank you for looking at the table. Hopefully you're going to stick with BBC. And I'm going to see you guys next time.